Hey guys, welcome back to Show Me Firearms. In today's video, we've got the Benelli M4 clone back out on the channel. This is, of course, the Panzer Arms M4. And those of you who have been watching the channel for a while will remember that I picked up this gun last October. And in the video I did right after I picked up this gun, I was totally blown away by how well it performed. And it was just a ton of fun. And in that video, I ran just double up buckshot and slugs through this gun. And since then, I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys wanting to know, will the Panzer Arms M4 run birdshot? Because correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the Benelli M4, the legit Benelli M4, will run birdshot with no problem. Can the Panzer Arms M4 do the same? That's exactly what we're gonna to put to the test in today's video. I've got six rounds, number eight birdshot. And I feel like number eight birdshot is a good load to test out. Cause number eight birdshot is a very light load. So if the Benelli M4 clone here can cycle number eight birdshot, there's no reason why it shouldn't be able to cycle heavier loads of bird shot. So we're loaded up five plus one in the chamber. Will a Benelli M4 clone cycle this bird shot? There's only one way to know. All right, here we go. Okay, good deal. So that was our first round there. Our spent casing ejected just fine. And it looks like we've got another round in the chamber. Awesome, awesome guys, look at that. We cycled all of those rounds. Bird shot, our bolt locked back to the rear after the last round. The gun cycled bird shot flawlessly. That's awesome because I mean, for this gun to be able to cycle just about any shotgun load you can get your hands on at way, at just a fraction of the cost of an actual Benelli M4, that's pretty darn cool, but Let's make sure that this was not a fluke. Let's get six more rounds of birdshot and see if it'll cycle those as well. We're back with five plus one in the chamber. I'm just gonna dump these as quickly as I can and see if this thing can cycle birdshot very, very quickly. Heck yeah, buddy. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Cycled just fine. Bolt locking back to the rear once again. That is absolutely awesome because I was, I was a little unsure if we were actually gonna be able to cycle birdshot through this thing. Now, I had been hearing through various places on the internet that in order to get the Panzer Arms M4 to cycle birdshot, you first have to run at least a couple hundred rounds of heavier loads like slugs or buckshot through it first to get those springs all nice and loosened up. Then after those springs are loosened up, it can cycle birdshot, no problem. And that seems to be the case so far because since this past October, I've run at least a couple hundred rounds of buckshot through this gun, have not been keeping a specific count, but obviously it's been enough to get those springs nice and loosened up because as you guys saw, we're cycling number eight birdshot just fine out of the Panzer Arms Benelli M4 clone. Guys, this gun is just too much fun, especially considering the price point that it comes in at. I mean, like, when I picked this gun up, it's 400 bucks. I mean, like, compared to the actual Benelli M4, that is just so, so affordable and so much more accessible for a lot more people. And I'm even more impressed by this gun now that we've shown that it is capable of running light birdshot like number eight birdshot. 
that's pretty darn incredible in my opinion to be able to run just about any kind of shotgun load you want out of a cheap Benelli M4 clone. That's pretty darn cool. Now let's suppose for just a moment that the Panzer Arms M4 did not run the birdshot. Let's say it just jammed every single time and it was just a complete failure. Would that change my opinion of this gun in any way, shape, or form? Not really, to be honest, because the application for a shotgun like this is, you know, military police, uh, home defense, self-defense, that sort of thing. This is not a bird hunting gun, guys, okay? It's got the short 18 and a half inch barrel. It is just not a gun intended to go bird hunting where you're gonna need to run bird shot or what have you. This is a defense, home defense shotgun. And in those applications, you're gonna be running buckshot or something like that. Probably not gonna be running bird shot in a home invasion. Maybe some of you guys do. If that works for you, that's great. But if it was me, I would be running double up buckshot out of a shotgun like this for home defense. So again, even if this gun did not run the bird shot, it wouldn't really matter to me all that much because for the type of application I would use this gun in, I wouldn't be running birdshot anyway. The only time I would run birdshot out of this gun, the only time where I would want to do that, would be if I'm just training or just plinking and having fun down on the range. That would be the time to run cheap birdshot just for fun versus more expensive double up buckshot or something like that. So again, even if this gun didn't run the birdshot, I would still be impressed by it because again, you can't really knock it. It's only 400 bucks, guys. Like, it's just a super cheap shotgun. Like, if it doesn't run birdshot, I can't really fault it because of the price point. Now, let's say that it was more expensive. Let's say it was, you know, a thousand bucks or something like that, and it didn't run birdshot. Then I would be disappointed. But at 400 bucks, I can't really complain if it didn't run the birdshot. But all this, guys, is really neither here nor there, because the fact is, this gun does run birdshot as we've seen in today's video and that just makes me like this gun all the more. So there you have it guys, the Panzer Arms Benelli M4 clone will in fact run light birdshot. That's absolutely incredible. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate all you guys being here and we just hit another big milestone guys. We just passed up 2,000 subscribers here on Show Me Firearms. That's absolutely mind blowing. And I have you guys to thank for it. Thanks so much for 2000 subscribers and I'll see you guys at 5,000. Thanks again for watching today's video. I appreciate all you guys being here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out my merch store. And until next time, show me them firearms. Now this is absolutely going to tick the government off. the whole point of the Second Amendment, and that's why we love it so much.